I, I straight up think the two positions that should never be allowed to be auto-filled are jungle and AD carry. I think those should never be allowed to be auto-filled. I think support and mid and top, people should be able to fill into those roles because they're similar enough. Now, obviously, you can be really good at mid or bad at mid, for sure. I mean, two heralds shouldn't make top lane have a greater impact on the game than before. Why would it? Why would it make top lane have more impact? Top lane doesn't win top. Jungle wins top. Two heralds means better jungler gets the herald. Top lane can't get herald by winning top. You can't win top and then get the herald. It's not how it works. I can be destroying top lane. If I try to take herald, all I'm gonna do is pull it for their jungler and then likely die. Why do I keep getting people picking Vladimir into Aatrox? Has it been so long since people have played Aatrox that people have forgotten that he beats Vladimir? I feel jungle and AD carry play too differently from other roles to where you can't realistically fill into that. I can realistically fill in to support. I can realistically fill into mid. Top and mid laners can generally fill into each other, not flawlessly, but decently enough. Support and mid laners generally have a lot in common. Top laners and supports have a lot in common. I think there's champions throughout both uh, roles that you can call similar. If you play a tank in top lane, you probably know how to play Leona or Nautilus or shit like that. If you play mid lane, you'll probably have good uh, bot laners. Or sorry, I should say supports that you can pick. But if I go from top to jungle, there's a lot of shit. Especially, and here's what's important, especially because jungle changes every season. Every season, jungle just completely changes. So if I'm not keeping up to date on jungle, I can totally fall out of favor. Like, I knew how to play jungle last season. I, I did it pretty decently. I mean, I got into Masters several times just only playing jungle. But the junglers I play aren't really relevant anymore. Mundo and Zac, the two junglers I played, kind of suck right now. You might say, oh, but support macro is hard to do. But the thing is, and this is kind of my opinion, uh, supports don't really get good into the higher ranks anyway. Throughout the mid ranks, supports tend to be morons. So even though some of that main support tends to not really play it that well. So I don't really think they're the support macro as you'd call it. That fucking e-bug is ridiculous, dude. Shit, he really went for me there, huh? I was really not expecting Talon to be able to get over to me that quickly, man. I thought I had it perfectly timed. I must have been off by a fraction of a fucking second, dude. Because, like, I'm gonna watch this again. I don't understand, dude. He was, like, unbloodied. He was, like, out of his W a split second before my Q landed, and then my Q didn't hit him. Kitty, what are you doing? I feel like this Vladimir is actually out healing me at this point. Shit. I no talents there, but would you rather have me clear the wave or not? Because he's not going to get here before the wave's cleared. So realistically, I mean, they're going to clear the wave or not. That's it. That's my choices. Ugh. What you doing, kitty? Meow meow. Yeah? That's terrible. Dude, I swear Aatrox is so fucking good into Talon. Like, every time I fought Talon, this shit has happened. Every single time. I think it's because Talon's damage is, like, super limited. And a champion with healing like Aatrox can heal past, like, how much damage he has. Apparently my timing is off. I feel like I've been pretty good with that timing in the past, and now I'm just slightly off. Dude, why do people keep picking uh, Vladimir into Aatrox? I don't get it. Why do they keep doing that? Like, it's not a winning matchup. So, like, why, do, why does it keep happening? Is it people thinking I'm bad? Or, like, I mean, it has to be something. Because this is way too common. I feel like we should clear it, yeah.
Did he clear Krugs while we were fighting, or like... Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. He was like, I know we're losing the game, but I, I gotta get these Krugs, I gotta! What's Ajax's biggest counter? Fiora. Just Fiora. That matchup is actually just fucking impossible. If you ever lose that matchup as Fiora, like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. You're bad. You're bad at League. Where's my pull? Any pullers in chat? Aurelia? See, the thing is, I can imagine a world where you could actually beat Aurelia. I imagine that. I imagine a world where Aatrox could actually beat Aurelia. But, like, Fiora? Literally, how? She's, like, ignore Parry. How the fuck do you hit her with a Q when she's moving at 10 billion movement speed all game? She has just as much healing as you, but way more damage. Well, if I get hit by all of them, yeah, I guess I can die. <laughs> okay, I got knocked. Up by Baron. I guess you shoot him, please. Thank you. How did I kill him? How about a Riven VA trucks? I mean, once again, I can envision a world where you win. Zone her out early game. Try to build up a CS lead. Wait for, like, level 7 or 8. Land enough Q pokes while eating away while she tries to engage on you. Go for the all-in. Like, I can imagine. That's what I'm saying. I, I don't think, like, by default you win. Sure, but I'm saying that, like, I can imagine a world where you win. Like, and I can imagine it happening. But, like, with Fiora, the only time I can imagine Aatrox beating Fiora is when the Fiora is just blatantly terrible. And, and that's, that's really it. Okay, I'm kind of glad I get to have a good game. There's nothing worse, and I feel like anyone above Masters can tell you, I feel like there's nothing fucking worse in the entire world than ending on a loss spree. Like, there's literally nothing that is worse than that. Someone calls me and says, like, oh, your mom died. I'm like, that's cool and all, but I'm on a loss spree. I can't deal with that right now. Jesus Christ, am I just, like, slightly out of range over and fucking over, man? Yeah, it looked like it was going so well till we all died. Who wins a 1v1 Darius reset? Early game, set. Mid game, still set, but Darius is definitely capable of winning. Late game, Darius, no question, set. Doesn't have the DPS. This is what I dislike about Graves. When he gets to that point where he's like, oh, I know, I'll just E into talent because I have enough E stacks that, like, I can't die. Dude, once Pike gets his CDR and shit and he's going to his W every third second, I just hear, do, 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 This shit, this shit that's happening right here. This is the shit I'm talking about. Vladimir. 
You know, I feel bad for the Vladimir because he probably really wanted to beat me. On the other hand, I feel bad for him because nobody beats me.